Some say on Halloween night, if you pass seven black gates, you will see the seven gates of hell. I thought it was a myth at first, until I tried it out. I went past seven black gates around my neighborhood. Then when I went to sleep, my dreams were in a furious fire. Then it stopped. There was a man, tall and bulky. His eyes were rather squinted. It shows he's old. His legs and hands were thin. It looked like he could barely support his weight. He spoke. He spoke with a scratchy, dying tone. He said, He chuckled and opened the gate. My whole body became numb. Walking on his own, I could not fight it. Struggling did not work. I gave up trying to fight it. And struggling without control, I went past the first gate. Gate number one. I saw fire showing the corpses that were horribly mutilated, desecrated, and burnt. They were sobbing so loudly that I couldn't hear the crackles of the fire. One came to me with one eye and bullet holes all over him. He said, we are the desecrated corpses who did not get a proper burial. We are to stay here till the judgment day. I went past them and to the second gate. It was in a building. Gate number two. I was in a dungeon. There were people tied up, screaming in pain. One was being sawed in half very slowly, and his body kept healing, ready to be sawed again. One was in an Iron Maiden, but the door being closed and open, and the body looked as normal as ever. A man in an executioner mask said to me, We are the torturer, tortured by our own devices. I went past him, to the exit. I walked to the third gate. Gate number three. This time I was in a forest. This time it was silent except for a few yells. There was a man hanging from a noose. Another one fell off a cliff, reappeared and fell off again. I was running. Away from what I saw was a horribly burnt woman chasing after me. I already knew this one was. These were the people who committed suicide. I ran into the fourth gate. It was in a palace. Gate number four. I was in there. I saw emperors, politicians, and really wealthy people. An emperor was being gnawed on by lions. When the lion ripped a limb out or slashed him, a part grew back. A politician was being beaten by what it looks like shadows and prisoner clothes. A man in a suit came to me and said, We are the corrupted people. The people who use our power to help ourselves, not the people. I walk to the next gate, the fifth. Gate number five. I was in another room. There was a man tied up on the bed, lashed by a floating, spiky leather whips. A woman was being burnt by a lighter, but her screams and cries were muffled by the cloth that was used as a gag. A rather large man came up to me and said, 
We are the rapists and the sex offenders paying for our crimes on Earth. I ran to the sixth gate. I was in a room again. I saw a man and a woman being stabbed. Their wounds healing almost immediately. Another person was being buried alive. And another being hit and jabbed with a floating metal bar. I knew who these are. They were the people who were murderers, being harmed the way they killed their victims to exit with the Seven Gate. The final one. This nightmare is almost over. It's almost over, I said to myself. The Seventh Gate. I was outside. There was a man wearing a shroud over his head, coated with explosives. He blew up regenerated and blew up again another one was being beaten stabbed by sharp metal objects and burned by torches lighters and matches they were held by people who looked like shadows one of them came to me and said they are the mass murderers the terrorists and suicide bombers I am a shadow of his victims, beating him and taking revenge for children us on Earth. I ran to the exit. Then, I woke up in the morning. I became horribly scared. The image of what I saw ran through my head. In fact, that was all I was thinking for the whole year. It became Halloween again. I didn't dare to go outside at night. I just went to bed. It took me a while to sleep. When I did, I was in front of the first gate of hell. There was a teenager, like me. He was staring at me. He was shocked to see me. My body then became numb. I could not control myself again. I said to him in a scratchy, dying tone, Welcome to the seven gates of hell. <laughs> I chuckled, opened the gate for him. After he went inside with an expression that looks like he was fighting something and struggling, I looked at myself goblet filled with what looked like blood. I saw the gatekeeper. I became the gatekeeper. In fact, <laughs> I am the gatekeeper.